The legal process known as a jury view ended right here a little more than an hour ago. This is the Pike County Sheriff's impound lot where two trailers and a camper are being preserved as evidence. Police say they were the places where eight members of the Roden family were shot and killed. Scenes from the shocking crimes that happened more than six years ago are now etched in the minds of jurors who will decide the fate of one of the accused, George Wagner IV. Investigators say the 30-year-old, along with his brother Jake and their parents, Billy and Angela Wagner, killed eight members of the Roden family execution style in the middle of the night. Today, members of the jury, who were not showing, went to the Flying W Ranch. It's owned by George Wagner's grandmother, Frederica Wagner. Previously, detectives scoured the property looking for possible evidence. Afterward, jurors rode on a school bus to a nearby piece of property on Bethel Hill Road. The property's significance is not clear at this point, but our camera captured this sign that reads, No trespassing, cellular camera surveillance, violators will be prosecuted. It's a message that seems to fit a narrative presented by prosecutors who assert the Wagners use sophisticated techniques to try to outsmart police. Then it was a long bus ride from Bethel Hill Road to the former home of Angela Wagner's late father. The Wagners lived at the home for a time after returning to Southeast Ohio from Alaska, a post-murder move that raised plenty of eyebrows. Finally, jurors went inside this Pike County impound lot warehouse to look at two trailers and a camper where police say the grisly murders happened in April 2016. Now back live, there's some confusion tonight as to why jurors were able to see those trailers in person while our camera was kept outside. We are now in the process of trying to find some common legal ground with regard to that question so we can serve as the eyes of the public as this case moves forward. Reporting live tonight in Pike County, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.